another train sensor bind in CVHE changing out the evaporator water entering and water leaving sensors part number there's the old one you just unscrew it just take this off unscrew it and then it just comes right out Then you just take this off, put it on the new one, and you screw it in. Now if you had the original set, which is this kind right here, it goes from the chiller to the ribbon cable. If you need to go to the new style, you need to get an adapter for it. Here's the part number. The kit number. What that does is it now see it in this package it now gives you the ribbon cable to tie in to there with the little snap connections inside of here and then that'll leave you dangling with this right here and then you can plug this into that no problemo the new one the little connection I took off so you just slide it up and in you just want to get it Right in the little hole. Then, once it's in, you just simply plug it in together. And again, like I said, if you had the old style, excuse me, if you had the old style, you're going to need to add in the harness, which is this right here. Just clamp it in there, and you'll be good to go. Okay, now let's log into the train tech view. This is the page you'll get right here. It's your standard tech view page. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect your connections to the chiller with this, and then to your computer with the HDMI cord. Come over here to the chiller, your computer cord, look on the bottom, open it up. You see it in there, put this in there. Once you're plugged in to the unit, to the computer, here's the information off of this in case you need, anybody needs to buy it or anything. You just plug it in the computer. Scroll over here, click on that. Local connection. Give it some time and it'll set it up. Okay, then you'll come to this page. You're gonna wanna scroll up to the top. Go to view. Go to binding view. Give it a few seconds. Like this, do not be alarmed, it's normal. Still waiting for it to get to the binding view section, then we'll move forward. Make sure you have a magnet. I always use the train one magnets on the top and it'll bring you to this page saying all the sensors which ones are on right now and off the reason mine's off right now is because I unplugged it and it is the evaporator leaving water temperature sensor I'm gonna go up to bind it click on bind this evaporator leaving water temperature sensor is this is our uh, device selected alone. Before you click yes, come over here, light it up. There you go, you see the light? Sometimes you gotta move it around a little bit, but it'll come on. Now it's lit up. Go back over there, select yes. Go from there. There 
go. Now later when we check the screen, it'll be back to normal. What it had was, it was showing right here. It was, it showed it off because it wasn't reading correctly. Then it was just showing dot, dot, dot because I unplugged it. So now we're good to go. And I got another sensor to do next to it. So we'll go do that one right now. I just changed the leaving. Now I'm changing the entering. Now that I disconnected it, it's showing dot, dot, dot. That's what it'll show when you have it disconnected. I already plugged in the new one. I mean, stuck it in the hole. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach it and redo the binding process. Didn't show this part earlier. Just got done doing the evaporator entering. Earlier it was the evaporator leaving. And now they're all green. So you're gonna wanna come over here to file. Exit. Save that along and report. Yes. And then just, okay. Just wait and it'll all start going back to normal right now. Turn it back on. This thing shutting down. This should be right on here in a minute. Well, all back to normal. And now you're just gonna wanna unplug it, put your computer away. That's it. Have yourself a nice day, brother. Subscribe, like, tell your friends, share, and um, let me know how you like all the videos. Comments really help out. Let me know what y'all want to see more of. This sensor is the same sensor for entering water, leaving water to the evaporator, condenser, refrigerant temp sensors. It's the same sensor for lots of things, so make sure to save that part number. You'll need it.